Hey, what's up, guys? Have you ever wondered what the difference is between wide angle lenses, telephoto lenses, and all the lenses in between are? Well, today I'm not going to be explaining that. I'm going to be looking at photos and seeing if I could actually tell the difference. So join me, and I'm going to just look at a bunch of photos. I'm going to try and place them into little groupings here and see if I'm correct. Feel free to join me, see if you're correct too. Keep track of your progress. So first up we have this picture. So right off the bat, this one is pretty difficult because it's so, so zoomed in. And because it's so zoomed in, like you, you don't, you can't, there's no background, right? There, there's no background for you to judge off of. It's just the hair, the face, and a prop. And because of that, I would say it's definitely not wide angle because let's say, let's say you're up close to someone and you have a wide angle lens, it would start to distort the face a little bit. So it's definitely not a wide angle lens. It couldn't be something in between. So maybe 50 millimeter, something around there, 50, you know, in the middle somewhere. But I feel like it might be a telephoto. I feel like it might be 80 around 80s or 100. So I'm going to put it in the telephoto area. Okay, there we go. It looks nice right there, right? Okay, next up we have a nice little forest here. And I would say that has to be a wide angle lens. Probably around 20 millimeter, I would say. Something around that. Just the judging off of the foreground, it doesn't seem too zoomed in. That would be my guess. Like you have a lot, a lot going on in the foreground. It can't, it, it is hard to tell, but I don't know. I, I'm going to go with my gut and I'm going to say that that is a wide, wide angle lens right there. Let's just drop that over in the wide angle area. Put that in that corner, shrink it down just a little bit. All right, there we go. So moving on to this one. This one has a, a subject in the background makes it a little bit easier because of the background. There's not much compression and let's see here. Let's just zoom him in a little bit. We just increase the size. Not going to get much detail, but yeah, it seems like I would go with in the middle. That's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to put that one right in the middle there. I feel like that's not a wide, wide angle, nor <clears throat> is it a telephoto because of the background. There's not much compression going on there, but that is my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think, though. Up next, we got a little monkey in a tree. Now, right off the bat, you could see all this compression in the background. And that tells me right away that that is a telephoto. Not only that, but... He got wildlife in a tree. So using common sense, you're most likely going to be using a telephoto for that. So that's a pretty easy one, but you never know. Sometimes you get surprised. So we'll throw that in the telephoto for now, but we may be surprised a little later when we actually go look at them to see what they truly are. All right, next up we have this one. Judging on... The background right here and how the foreground is, I would have to say this is a wide angle because there's a lot going on in the foreground. Again, the, these wide angles, the middle and then the way it warps the edges, it's always noticeable to me anyway. So I'm going to have to go to wide angle with this one as well. If I'm wrong, oh boy. <laughs> so that looks pretty good over there. So far, we only got one in the middle ground, you know. One in, one in the middle. That's surprising to me. A lot of people like using uh, zoom in the high-end telephotos and also wide angles, which I do like using uh, 18 to 35 millimeter focal lengths. I think that's my preferred. And then if I'm out in nature and maybe I'm shooting wildlife, obviously I'll be shooting... Uh, anywhere from 80 to 200. That's usually what I shoot when I'm doing wildlife photography. But this one, 
Again, pretty easy because you're shooting through a window. I would guess a wide angle. That would be my initial guess right here. But it's hard to tell with not much detail. Well, I shouldn't say much detail. These are raw photos. I do, I do want to express that. Now, I only took screenshots of the raw photos. So the first time I'll check them is actually when I go into Lightroom to check the focal length. But that's why a lot of these are dark. So, but this one I'm going to put in a wide angle lens just for now. Because I do think this one is wide. And we will make another row. We'll do two rows instead of doing th per, yeah, three per row. We'll do two per row. Okay, and this one is definitely in the middle. I don't think this one's telephoto. I think this one's in the middle. For sure. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. So we're gonna go in the middle here. Finally got one that goes in the middle. Didn't really get many of those. All right, now I'm gonna jump over to Lightroom and we're gonna see which ones we have correct and which ones we do not. All right, so here we are with the first picture we started with. And I initially said that this one was the telephoto and it looks like the focal length is 100 millimeters. So I was correct about that. Let's move on to the next one, which was the, um, yeah, it was this one, the forested area. And I said that was a wide angle, and it does look like this was taken with a 28 millimeter focal length. So look at me, I'm going to give myself a pat on the back for getting that one correct. After that, we did this one. Yeah, this one. And this one was actually taken exactly with a 50 millimeter. Look at that. Exactly in the middle. Exactly. So another pat on the back. Getting them all right so far. And then this one, again, telephoto. That's a given. That one's a given. 180 millimeter focal length. So I got that one right as well. And then next one was this one. This one was an 18 millimeter wide angle. Got that one correct as well. Then this one was a 16 millimeter wide angle as well. Got that one correct too. And then the last one we did was, oh, all right, I got one wrong. So I said this one was in the middle. I said this one wasn't a telephoto or a wide angle, but it is considered telephoto. Anything above 60 is considered a telephoto, and this is a 70 millimeter. All right. So I am glad that I actually got one wrong <laughs> because I didn't want to get them all right. I would feel like the point of this video would be a little bit pointless, I suppose. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, just leave a comment, let me know, because I did enjoy this video. It was fun. It really tested my knowledge and tested my eyesight to see if I could actually tell the difference or not. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.